one way to use the oils. So you've come to the right class because once you learn how to use the oils topically, you will find <clears throat> you'll be using the oils every day. Okay, all right, let's get started. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so why use essential oils topically? Last week, or no, last, last week, the week um, last year, <laughs> last class in December, we talked about the aromatic use of the essential oils, right? Aromatic oil uh, use, usage of essential oils provides many benefits, including the emotional benefits, the respiratory uh, benefits, and also cleanse your air, air purification purposes. So, but of course, when you inhale the oils into your body, your internal body also benefits, okay? Now, um, although that's a great way to use the oils, the another even more um, common or accepted use of essential oils is topical. So today we're gonna go over this part of the usage. So why, why use the oils topically? Well, first of all, uh, what's in our, you know, outside, right? We have the skin. Skin is our large, largest organ. And <clears throat> so the skin protects us from outside environmental harm and threats. And, but the skin, because the skin is uh, always in contact with the outside world. And so it, it's kind of our first defense, right? So skin needs help, needs our help. It's exposed to sun, to oxidation, to um, <clears throat> the threats, you know, insects, right? Bug bites. And also it's the first uh, to be injured if you accidentally, you know, fall down or burn yourself. So skin needs our help, okay? And we need to take care of our skin. So essential oils have uh, significant benefits for the skin. And when I say skin, it's not just your facial skin, it's, it's everywhere, okay? Your whole body is skin. Um, <clears throat> the oils can help the skin recover and can protect them and also soothe them, okay? So we're gonna talk about that uh, in detail later. And also when you apply the oils on your skin, you actually can smell, right? When you apply, the oil naturally evaporates. And when it evaporates, because you're close by your skin, you can smell. So simultaneously, topical use provides the aromatic benefits. Yeah. So I love that. Whenever I use my oils on my skin every day, my facial skincare, and I enjoy the smell that comes naturally into my nose. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a side, side effect, a good side effect that the aromatic benefits uh, comes to you. So the oils can provide uh, soothing, calming, warming, cooling, energizing feeling for the body. Different oils have different properties and different benefits. So picking the right oil depending on your needs. And also topical use of essential oils provides the targeted care. Uh, localized benefits. So if you have a specific area in your body that's hurting or for example, you know, in the summertime, you got bug bites, right? The uh, insect or mosquito bites, that's localized to just that spot. So <clears throat> the, the fastest way to help that area is by using the oils topically, not internally, right? Not aromatically but topically on that spot. So topical use provides this um, uh, localized targeted um, benefits. All right, next. So now let's do look at the skin, benefits for the skin. So uh, when we talk about skincare, people immediately think about the facial. Facial skincare, yes. So that's, I, I think everyone cares about their facial skincare. So um, essential oils 
are very good for that part, skin, facial skin care. Okay, reduces the appearance of skin imperfections. For example, you have the pimples, acne, or um, you know, fine lines, right? So those things, or sunspots, those things, you know, it, it makes you because you look at yourself in the in a mirror every day, and it can cause some uh, <laughs> negative feelings when you see those imperfections. But let me first say, nobody has the perfect skin. Okay, so don't be judgmental to yourself. Love yourself. Accept all you, no matter what. Right? Don't 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 judge yourself. Don't feel you know, I'm, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not beautiful. Not all of those, okay? None of them, none of them. But we do, we can help our skin get better, okay? We care for them. So <clears throat> the oils that can help with your uh, skin imperfections, let me just say, you know, the acne, pimples, um, those things that our children, our teenager children may have the most. So those things um, we used, uh, there are you know, several oils that actually, actually can help them. Um, <clears throat> tea tree, tea tree oil is a great cleanser. Cleanser, it cleanses the, these things basically. It's anti, um, anti-bacteria, anti-infectious. So those pimples, those acne, they are in, 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 inflammation, right? Out of your skin. So applying oils can calm down those inflammation, okay? And also <clears throat> the oils can help control the oil uh, excretion. Some people have oily skin, they, they just constantly feel oily. And so some oils like uh, tea tree, like rosemary or cypress, they're great for controlling the oil um, excretion. So uh, when you apply the oils, people may think, I'm already oily, right? Uh, how can I apply more oil? <laughs> so, well, just to know, essential oils are not oils. <clears throat> they're, they're not fat, fat cells, not fat, mo uh, fat molecules, I should say. Essential oils are called oils because they are in the liquid format, but they are totally not oils, the oils that we know, okay? Essential oils are aromatic compounds. They're very tiny molecules, easy to evaporate. If you drop a drop of uh, lemon or lavender or tea tree on a piece of tissue, okay, that's, that's a way actually to test if, a, if an oil is pure. So <clears throat> if you have another brand of oil, essential oil that you bought before, you can do the test on a piece of tissue, just drop, you know, um, it, preferably, you know, same oil, for example, lavender, right? People always buy lavender from the market. And you drop the lavender on a piece of the tissue on two different spots separate. And after a while, after maybe a couple hours, you come back to see doTERRA essential oils are almost evaporate, like totally. Uh, if you give it longer time, long enough time, you, you will not see a sign. Like, it, it's a it's a paper that without any um, mark, but the other brands may have a have a mark on the residual. We will say residual on the piece of tissue, because it it, it contains something else, right? So <clears throat> aromatic compounds they are um, volatile, very volatile. So it, it naturally just evaporates, right? So if the oil is pure, it doesn't leave a mark. All right, so uh, that's that's a side topic. So just to know, essential oils are not oil. If you use the other essential oils before you feel very oily, that's because it contains some um, uh, carrier oil probably, diluted. Well, doTERRA does have some diluted essential oils for the skin benefits actually. But, um, <clears throat> the, but the pure oils in the 15 milliliter bottles, those, only contains the essential oil, okay? Now, um, people say, okay, my skin is very oily already. If I apply uh, essential oil, would it make it even more oily? 
uh, it's actually will not, it will not, okay? So <clears throat> essential oils help uh, balance the, the skin, the oil, um, uh, the, how do I say, oil excretion, okay? So um, that's one type of issue. The other type of the is uh, skin issue is the dryness, right? So that's too extreme. One is too oily, one is too dry. So essential oils with carrier oil, okay? Uh, some dilution of the oil, um, essential oil can help moisturize your skin, provides the, the nourishment uh, to your skin. So your skin won't feel very dry and itchy and irritate, irritatable, okay? Especially in the winter time, right? When, when, when the air is dry, and this, the wind blows on your, on your face, you, you know, if you have a very dry skin, it, it, it can actually hurt your skin, hurt your face sometimes. So, <clears throat> so these are two, diff, you know, extreme types of um, uh, skin that people can have. And essential oils can help take care of that, but also, you know, just occasional uh, breakouts or, or injury, you know, you cut yourself, cut your skin, um, or after sun, you've been exposed to the sun. People like to, I found, you know, uh, people in Western countries like to expose themselves in the sun, sunbathe, right, sunbathing. But that causes the sunburn on their skin. And that's actually not healthy, right? It, it can cause skin issues, um, even skin cancers later. So after sun, the sun, uh, skin care under the sun is very important and essential oils provides the uh, benefits to soothe the irritated skin and provides the immediate soothing for burning, burning skin after you know, exposure to the sun for a long time, okay? And of course, the other one is the aging, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, and you know, oils have been used for thousands of years to help with that part because you know, beauty is something that women throughout the ages, right, throughout the centuries, sought after. So, <clears throat> how to reduce the age sign? Fine lines is a is a topic that women of all ages, or I mean, I should say, all centuries, right, ancient or modern. They all want this benefits. And guess what? Um, essential oils have been helping people in the Asian times, uh, you know, thousands of years ago. For example, frankincense is very, uh, very sacred oil, right? <clears throat> and Egyptians, the queen of Egypt, uh, Cleop Cleopatra, yeah. So she's famous for her beauty and youthfulness. So um, she uses the oils in her daily routine, skincare routine, and the frankincense or cedarwood. Yeah, cedarwood actually is a very good skincare oil. Did you know that? So cedar, cedarwood, the wood oil. Um, so anyways, so there are many other oils that can help uh, reduce the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, and so uh, I can testify to that actually. So I, um, people see me, you know, five years ago, uh, 10 years ago, they always say, oh, you look the same, you, you didn't change. Well, it's not that I didn't change, but I didn't have um, at least the, the signs of aging, the, the fine lines, I don't have any wrinkles. So I contribute that to the use of essential oils in my daily skincare routine. So I really, really, really can testify the oils can help uh, reduce the fine lines and, and wrinkles. So, okay. And um, <clears throat> if you are interested in that part, uh, I, I encourage you to create an, um, a skincare routine that incorporates the essential oils, okay? Um, okay, so the oils that we use for those, we, you, we have um, frankincense, as I said, helichrysum, and the other one is immortel. Immortel is, is a blend. It's called an anti-aging blend, okay? So this one has frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, and rose, helichrysum, and lavender. All these oils are 
um, how should not rare like uh, they are the best skincare oils. Okay, so so you can buy oils that DoTerra already made for you. Your motel is the blend, but you can also buy some touch touch bottle like these uh, jasmine touch, rose touch, right? Helichrysum touch. These are um, in the roller bottle. So when you apply to your skin, it's the easiest way, most convenient way. Okay, and you can also make your own blend. So I use this bottle you know it's empty bottle i used up the it, it was it's the geranium oh yeah let me share with you geranium is another great skincare oil geranium it uh, it actually helps reduce the redness if you have you know some people have the redness or you can see the um the the vessel okay very very uh, thin skin right so the geranium actually can help uh, reduce that redness. Ger geranium can also uh, help moisturizing the skin. So, um, so we have a geranium touch. I don't know if uh, US has, this is from China market. So once I use it up, I use the empty bottle to make my own blend. So this one, this bottle actually has the Hawaiian sandalwood. Hawaiian sandalwood is a wonderful, beautiful skin, it has the amazing smell and also great, great for skin. Okay, moisturize and also reduce the, it can help with the uh, pigmentation. So I'm using it every day, <laughs> um, but it, it takes a long time. Just be patient, okay? When you work with your skin, be patient because the skin cells, they renew in about 28 days. So it takes like a month for, it, for the skin to renew. So give it um, <clears throat> three months, six months, um, you know, one year. It's a long-term process. So just, just become a, um, a habit, a routine, and you will see the results over the time, All right? Okay, let's move on. Now, other than our skin, the, the facial skin care, the other parts, our body, it also needs help. And the topical use for the other parts of our body is so beneficial, so beneficial. And I think um, all of you who, you know, who are listening to this um, class probably have your own story and testimonials about how the oils, you know, when you apply topically, provides the soothing or warming, relaxing, or you know, uh, relieving benefits to you. Uh, the most common use of the of this way is when you have pain, soreness, right, in your muscle. Mostly, like the lady in the in a in a picture, our necks, shoulder, because we nowadays we work on the on the on our phone, right, <laughs> or in front of the screen all day long, all day long. So our neck and shoulder becomes very tight, very tense. And so applying oils on our neck area and shoulder area can provide the immediate relaxing and soothing um, benefits and feeling to you, okay? So I, if you haven't tried that, I encourage, highly encourage you to try that. The oils that you will use mostly or you know, most recommended, our Aroma Touch blend. Aroma Touch is one of my my uh, most used oils, uh, the fastest uh, used oils. I use every day on my legs. Um, before bed, I have the habit of applying Aroma Touch on my shin, on my calf, because that's where I feel the tightness. Okay, after a long day's work, right? So but also applying on the neck and the shoulder area will immediately give you the relaxing and soothing benefits. The other one is deep blue, right? Deep blue is so well known, so loved. It's our beloved oil. <laughs> it's one of the, the most popular oil. Um, the, we also have deep blue rub. Anyone try deep blue rub will fall in love with it. It's so convenient. 
and you can carry it in your gym bag. You go exercise, especially people for active people who like to exercise a lot, who like to go to nature, hiking, you know, doing things outdoors. Uh, bringing this deep blue rub with you, okay? It can it can provide um, <clears throat> preventive. For example, before you go on exercise, you know, people who run marathons or do um, you know cycling, before that you apply the blue rub on your legs and or arms. And then afterwards you apply once again, you probably won't feel the soreness and, uh, the next day. Okay, so that's like do it before. And, but sometimes we can also use it as aftercare, right? After you feel, oh man, you know, it's, it's, it's been a while since I exercised. So the next day the effects is, is very, um, very, very obvious, right? You feel soreness in whole body. You can't move, you can't climb the stairs. So at that time you apply deep blue, it can help with, uh, with your soreness and pain as well, okay? But just do it every three hours, uh, more frequent use it is more, more effective. And sometimes we have accidents. If you say, if you are exercising, you, you accidentally fall, right? You, um, you break your skin or knees, you have bruises, whatever, accidents happen. And immediately apply deep blue on the spot will help soothe and actually helps with the bruise go away much quicker than it used to be, okay? So, um, anyway, so the topical use on our body and can provide many, many, many benefits. And I talked about pain and soreness, muscle, right? Muscular and skeletal issues, but also our, for example, our digestive issues, our respiratory issues. You can all use the topical use of the oils. You can apply to the area, for example, respiratory issues, you apply to the lung area, okay? Or nose, beside your nose, throat. These areas, your respiratory areas, if you have digestive issues, you apply to your stomach area, abdomen area, your digestive tract area, okay? And, you know, of course, on the back, you have kidney and you actually, if, if you study the Chinese medicine, you will know the whole back actually has, has the acupuncture points um, of your whole, whole organ, your, your, your inside organ. So by applying oils to your back, you are actually taking care of your whole inside organ. <laughs> so, and it's a great way to use the oils uh, topically. Um, so we will talk about that, the, the parts that you will apply the oils, okay? So how does it work? How does the oil applied topically can help your body, right? People's, people sometimes say um, they are afraid of intake something like essential oils because they've never heard of oil. Essential oils can be intaken um, probably because the oils that they used before or other people used and tell them it cannot be intaken is not very pure. Okay, if an oil is not pure, <clears throat> of course you don't want to intake, right? And if you go to market, you see, oh, essential oils are so popular now. There are so many different brands out there. And you see their label, it says, not for internal use. Then you think, oh, essential oils are not for internal use. You have that idea from their <laughs> instruction. Well, let me tell you, their instruction is correct, is correct for their oils, okay? So the instructions on that bottle is for that bottle. The instructions from that company is for that company's oils. Different companies have different quality of the oils. Even though they may all say lavender, they are not the same, lavender. I tell you, okay, so essential oils are not all the same. Uh, when we just say essential oils, we refer to essential oil itself, not, um, you know, attached to any brands. 
okay? Essential oils are them are, are itself, it's it's in the nature, okay? So essential oils are of course safe for intake. In fact, we are taking that in every every day. Well, that's another topic for next week. Actually, next week, we're gonna talk about the internal use. But let me just come back to why I bring up, uh, brought up this, because some people say, oh, intake goes directly into your body. So I must be cautious, right? Because they go into my body. And some people think, oh, a topically apply is fine. I don't care what it is. But let me tell you, when you apply th things on your skin, it goes into your body as well. Even inhaling goes into your body. That's why doTERRA oils has three ways of using oils, right? Uh, aromatically, topically, internally, they all will go into your body and help you. So how does it work? Essential oils are very tiny molecules. They are also lipid soluble, lipid soluble. So these two properties made it easy to penetrate through your skin. Okay, your skin protects you from the water. The waters cannot go in, but your skin, your um, cells actually are made of, the, the cell membrane are made of mostly the, the lipids, the fat, okay? So because essential oils are lipid soluble, they actually go into your skin and then go, go deep into the blood vessels, you know, the, the circulation, blood circulation and go into, circulate into your uh, whole body. So that's how it works, okay? So topical use, it will go into your body. So you gotta pick the oil that has the benefits you want to apply topically and provides the benefits you want. Um, but as I said, when you apply them on your skin because oils are naturally volatile they evaporate and you can smell the aromatic benefits at the same time now safety this is important although doTERRA oils are pure you know safe you also you you still want to learn how to use them more um, you know effectively and especially for children right how to use it safely with them so dilution dilution <clears throat> Dilution is a great way of using the oils topically. Okay, we're going to talk about dilution later. Second is carrier oils. What are kind of kinds of um, carrier oils you can use to uh, accompany the essential oils when you uh, use it topically? Okay, and dosage, how much, right? And sensitivity. So these are topics we're going to talk one by one. Dilution. Now, before I go on, uh, talk about more about dilution. Let me just tell you these six oils, please remember them. These six oils, you must dilute. You must dilute, always dilute before you use it topically. Okay, remember topically, when we talk about dilution, it, it's, it's pertaining to topical use, not aromatically, not diffusing, not internally. Okay, only topical, you need to dilute. So remember these six oils, cassia, cinnamon, clove, cumin, oregano, and thyme. And you will notice all of these are spices, <laughs> are cooking spices. They're very strong, they have strong smell. Yeah, that's their uh, essential oil, the smell. Smell is the essential oil, right? They're very strong. And they are great, great antioxidants. They are powerful. And they also have very strong anti-infectious, antibacterial, antiviral, you know, those properties they all have. But because, well, why, right? Why do they have that property? It's because of the chemical compounds they contain in the essential oil that provides that um, benefits that's that great benefits we, we need. But those types of chemical compounds also has a, has a side effects, not side effects. It has the, um, yeah, I can say side effects. 
they they are strong, too strong for the skin, for our skin. They irritate the skin. Yeah, I should say. But some people, rare, not rare. Some people, they their skin has very strong resistance. They they can like like defense. So some people they say, oh, I don't need to. Def I used oregano directly on my skin. It didn't burn me. Yeah, that's you. But we cannot say that to everybody. Okay, so we always, always um, warn or let our customers know for these six oils, uh, you must dilute if you are going to apply them topically. Well, cumin, cumin oil is not an oil that you can buy every, every like it's not a regular uh, um, product, but sometimes we have it in a kit or something. So if you have that, if you have the cumin, I have cumin. So if you are going to use it topically, you need to, okay? Um, but if you're using it uh, aromatically, last night I, I diffused the oregano. Oh man, it smells so good. It smells like, you know, food and the spice. And, and you know, when you, when you diffuse them, it actually, you know, cleanses your air very, very well. So. If you have oregano, you can diffuse it in the winter time to help your the, the air quality in your home to be um, clean. Okay, the the virus because in the winter time, there's you know people are easy to get sick, right? So provide the diffusing oregano can provide this immune boost. Well. When you apply them, sometimes we will need to apply these. So we we rarely actually because of because they are so strong, we not very often use them topically um, unless it's necessary. But when you apply, you do need to dilute. Okay, just remember that. When you apply them to the bottom of the feet, I let me just say sometimes we if we don't have the dilution oil, the coconut oil, carrier oil, we apply them to the bottom of the feet, but not everyone's the same. Some people even applying to the bottom of the feet, it can cause irritation. But most people, when you apply to the bottom of the feet, it's usually safe, usually safe, okay? But some people have very tender, uh, delicate skin even on the bottom of the feet. So just be cautious. If, if you do have some um, irritation happening, don't panic, don't panic. Immediately apply carrier oil over it, okay? Put a lot of it and it will go away. So no harm will be done, but you do need to do the you know dilution, okay? All right, so have you all remember a lot of seeds Look at that, four C's, <laughs> and then oregano and thyme, okay? All right, next. Um, some people may say dilute. Dilute seems to me is less, right? When you dilute something, it becomes less. Would it be less effective if I use a fraction coconut oil with the, with the essential oil? Well, when you use it topically, okay, this, the, this picture, I just cut it from a uh, from a conference talk, right? Because people had this had this question all over the world. This was a conference in um, actually the the convention in China in 2019, and so so people all over the world have the same kind of question because the concept of dilution just means less effective. Now, so the scientists explained that. Uh, when you apply the picture on the left side, this is skin, by, by the way. So, uh, so when you apply the oils, those little balls, little balls are essential oil molecules. Okay, they're very small. Now, when you directly apply to the skin, top, the, the top skin, you see a lot of balls are bouncing back to the air. Do you see that? It's like going to the air it's evaporation because oils are so volatile. So they it evaporates to the air and not that many actually go into your skin, isn't it, right? So most of the oils actually become aromatic. You enjoy the aromatic 
benefits, of course. But if you want the oils actually go into your skin and help the skin, it's not very ideal without dilution because, because the uh, oils are so volatile. And especially you have very dry skin. Okay, the drier the skin is, the more um, evaporation happens. So really not that many um, essential oil molecules can enter. Now look at the ones on the right side. The blue, the blue part is the dilution, the fraction of coconut oil, okay? So with the coconut oil and essential oil molecules, you will see most of them are trapped by the fraction of coconut oil. Well, still some evaporates, escapes, right? Um, but most of them are still in the, in the, in the coconut oil because they can, essential oils don't uh, dissolve, don't dissolve in water. They dissolve in oil. So that's why we use fresh in a coconut oil to be the carrier oil because the essential oil can dissolve in there and then they can go into your skin. Okay, more and more evenly, more amount and better absorption. Can you see that? This picture is a perfect for you to understand dilution um, with, the, with the essential oil when you do topically will actually help, help your skin absorb more essential oils. Okay, all right, so carrier oils. What are some carrier oils? Well, first of all, pure vegetable oil. We don't use um, animal oil animal fat because it's too big. The molecules of that fat is too big. It can block your skin, the pore. Okay, so it actually blocks it. The, the, so essential oils can't go in. So we choose, first of all, vegetable oils um, because it's lighter. Now, um, if you don't have, okay, I, we of course highly recommend doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. It's the best dilution oil. But if you don't have it yet at hand and you need to dilute, use any pure vegetable oil like sesame oil or olive oil, whatever like cooking oil you, you use, use that for now. But in the future, please do get the fractionated coconut oil because that is the best um, essential oil, dilution oil, okay? So, and the other things you can use is the lotion. Doterra has this hand and body lotion, which has no scent at all, purposely made non-scented. It's for you to mix your own essential oil, make your own lotion, okay? I love that. So especially in winter when it's dry, um, you can mix the, uh, the lotion and oil in your palm and apply or have a container. Actually, the other day, uh, you know, two days ago, I made my own body lotion, you can have a little container and put the, uh, this non-scented lotion in and then drop the oils you want and mix them, uh, mix them well. And next time you can just use that. You don't need to mix every time you use, right? So it's just uh, easier for you. And so dilution ratio, this is another common question people ask, how much do I dilute? Now the, the uh, for adults, okay, we're talking about adults and normal skin type and the normal oils, it's one, two, three. One, two, three, meaning one drop of essential oil and three drops of carrier oil, coconut oil, okay? So one, two, three ratio. For most of the oils, you can use that. Of course, for the hot oils like oregano, thyme, and cinnamon, those oils, of course you can do more, one to five, one to six. Those are all fine. Now for children and or sensitive skin, some adults, they have very sensitive skin. So one to three is not enough for them. Try one to six, okay? For children, yeah, one to six at least. And for even younger, like toddlers and infants, you need more dilution. So basically it depends on the skin. 
No, first of all, it depends on the age, I should say. So that's the easy way to tell how much uh, dilution you need. The younger the child, the more dilution it needs. For infants, uh, sometimes we say one to 10 if it's an acute issue that you want to resolve. But if it's for an everyday um, use, like a just preventative, right, the uh, care, you might want to use less, one to 100 dilution. People say, what's one to 100? How do I do that? Now for that kind of use, you will need an empty bottle, um, empty, you know, usually low on bottle. This bottle, 10 milliliter, contains about, um, uh, I should say, maybe 200 drops, right? So you, you can drop two drops of the essential oil and then fill the rest with the coconut oil. That's about one to 100, okay? So if you want to make one to 200, you will just need one drop of the essential oil and fill the rest with the coconut oil, right? It, yeah, you may think, wow, you know, that's too diluted. It's almost nothing. But think about infants, little babies. They have very tiny, small body. They don't need a lot, okay? They don't need a lot. They just need a tiny little bit to provide this long-term. It's an it's a everyday care. It's not for something they, they need like, you know, uh, immediately support um, as, you know, when they have a cold or they have some kind of symptom, then you can use a little bit more to help them um, during that short time, okay? All right, so this is the, the dilution ratio. And I should say everybody has different types of skin. So you try to see what works for you. Okay, you do not need to do the same things as other people do. Try to find the best ratio for yourself. Now application amounts, this is also important because oils, it, doTERRA essential oils are so concentrated and pure, it's pure basically. So it, it takes a lot of plants to get the, get the essential oil. So you don't need to use a lot. Start with one to two drops each time one to two drops each time, but use it more often. Every four to six hours, do it again, repeat. That is the best way to use the oils. Okay, more frequent use, but each time don't use a lot. Okay, sensitivity. Now, because people have different types of skin, if you know you have a sensitive skin, please uh, be careful, be cautious do a sensitivity test on a new oil, right? If you're starting a new oil, you're not sure if this will be nice to your skin, do a test. Pick an area of your skin that's not very obvious, right? Um, just maybe, you know, on your, uh, on, your, on your arm, on your arm, okay? Pick a, pick a place and then apply that oil on that spot, a small spot. And then for a couple, next few hours, just watch. Just watch that spot to see if it causes any um, irritation, okay? And that's a quick test. And if you're going to use on your skin, because remember, I mean, when I talk about the face, on your face, because our facial skin can be even more delicate and sensitive, right? So when you want to use a new oil for your uh, facial skincare, you wanna test it on the side, okay? On the cheek somewhere, okay? And just do a little bit on it and see the reaction first. That's called a sensitivity test. And if it does cause any uncomfortable irritation or you see redness, rash, um, then immediately put coconut oil on it, okay? So you know the pure oil will cause so then next step is to mix or dilute, dilute the oil and then try again to see if it um, uh, you know, caused any issue. So that way you find the best ratio, best dilution ratio for your skin, okay? All right, next one, very important to know, sun sensitivity, sun sensitivity. So because we're applying the oils on top of our skin, 
And after that, if you go to sun, you expose yourself to the sun for you know 15 minutes or more. You need to be careful. Some oils, okay, don't don't worry, not all oils, okay. Some oils have this uh, photo sensitivity or photo uh, how do I say photo tox toxicity people say, but it sounds sounds bad to tox toxicity. It's really just uh, the sensitivity to the uh, UV light, UV light. So even if it's not the sun, some people stay under the UV light, light, light with the, that, um, that has the UV light, it will cause the issue. So the oils, remember those oils. So you will know not to you know, expose yourself to the UV light after applying topically. Um, those oils are mostly citrus oils. So it's very easy to remember any citrus oils other than you know green mandarin, but um, just be careful with all the citrus oils. If you don't remember, you know specific oils, just say all the citrus oils like lemon, grapefruit, uh, bergamot, lime, uh, tangerine. Right, those are citrus oils, and of course citrus bliss, the blend. Those oils have the sun sensitivity. So uh, if, you, if you happen to apply them topically on the skin that's exposed to the air, then you don't want to go into the sun or under the UV light for a long time, okay? So remember that. Now among these oils, bergamot. Bergamot has the highest sun sensitivity. So be careful with that. But bergamot is a wonderful oil. I love that oil. But use it in uh, aromatically, or drink it in the in the water. Or if you have to, it's actually very good oil for your digestive. And you can apply it to your stomach area if you wear the clothes that cover the stomach area. You don't need to worry about the sound sensitivity. Okay, only to the exposed area: your neck, your face, your hands, or your arms. Those areas. Okay. All right. Next uh, classification. Um, <clears throat> if you go to doTERRA's website and check out the oils, you put in lavender, you will see the page for lavender, and you will see these letters, A-T-I-N-S-D. Okay, Some, you, you don't see all the letters in one oil, but you will, you will encounter these letters and you might wonder, what, what are they? What does that mean? Okay, so A-T-I is the three ways of using the oils. A is aromatic, T is topical, and I is internal, okay? Remember those three are the ways of using. Now NSD, these are specifically only for topical use. So that's why you see a bar in between ATI and NSD. Now NSD meaning how, um, how, how sensitive the oil is to, um, to your skin. So it's only for dilution, uh, the, the topical use. So N means neat, meaning they're very gentle. We're talking about adults here, okay, healthy adults. So neat, you can apply to the skin directly. No need for uh, dilution, but not to say you cannot dilute. As I said, dilution actually helps your skin absorb more oils, right? So it's always beneficial. Um, this just means it won't cause any irritation to your skin. So how gentle they are, basically. Now sensitive, some oils have S, like wintergreen or um, lemongrass. So S meaning if you have a sensitive skin, you might see the irritation or rash, okay? So sensitive skin, you need to dilute. So this is safety issue, okay? Now D, D is must dilute, must dilute. What are oils that you must dilute? Those six oils, right? We talked about the six oils. Those oils, you will find D on their page, okay? Yeah, so the, that's the three letters. And when you see those three letters, you will know um, if you must dilute or if you're sensitive, you better <laughs> dilute and if they are gentle on the skin. All right, areas to avoid applying topically. Eyes, 
and the skin around the eyes, especially your eyelid. Don't get, I often make this mistake. Um, when I, you know, uh, take care of my, my facial skin, I always get the oil onto my, um, on, onto my uh, eyelid. Then my eyes becomes um, watery. <laughs> so um, please be careful, be careful. So put, put the oils around your eye so socket. So above the eyebrow, okay, above the eyebrow and under the, you know, under the eye, that's fine. Don't get too close to the eye, especially eyebrow, um, not eyebrow, eye eyelid is very sensitive, okay? And inner ears, you don't wanna drop the oil into the ear directly. And genitals, yeah injured, broken, or damaged skin, these areas, or nose, actually didn't say nose, you, you do not drop the oil directly into your nose, but you can uh, use a Q-tip, you know, get some oil on a Q-tip and then just like scrub, rub um, the skin, that's fine, okay? Best areas for topical application, yay. Well, face, temple, forehead, base of the scalp, meaning behind the neck, okay? And abdomen, abdomen and arms, legs, back, chest, bottoms, the feet. Basically all the areas that we just said to avoid, okay, any other areas, it's safe, it's safe. But just to know some areas you might have more tender skin, for example, underarm. Underarm, we have a lot of lymphatic um, system here. Actually, it's a good area to massage often. Um, but that that parts of the skin is very sensitive. So you if you are applying oils to that area, you need to dilute more, okay, more dilution, comparing to your knees, you know, your, your back. Um, so just be 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 um, conscious about um, your skin type, different areas. So if you need more coconut oil, just apply more, okay? It's safe. All right. We often um, use the oils as a way of um, um, relaxing, right? Topical use. We do to ourselves, we do to our family members, we do to our friends to help people like to say massage. Yes, it's an oil application, not really massage, massage, the traditional massage, but it feels like massage because you feel so relaxed afterwards. So you can apply oils uh, in many different ways. Uh, this picture shows the deep blue applying to the back of the neck, right? It's tension, that there's tension there because your brain has been very busy. So you need to relaxing your neck so more, um, more oxygen, more blood can flow to your, to your head. Deep blue, uh, eucalyptus, and for helping your, your breathing, right? Eucalyptus, actually uh, breathe, they all help. Frankincense, used for your skincare. Lavender, relaxing. These are just like, you know, just one drop in the whole ocean. <laughs> we have so many oils that they are all good for topical use and provides many, many benefits. And symphony of the cells, is a, is a topical use protocol a technique, oil application technique. And that provides the, the targeted care for your respiratory, for your digestive, for your emotional, for your cardiovascular. So they have different protocols uh, for different systems. And another wonderful and simple technique is aroma touch technique. This is my favorite um, application topical application technique. It's, it's just eight oils. You don't need to change like, like symphony of the cells. Each protocol is different. You got different sets of oils, right? For different protocol, different system. But aroma touch technique is just one set of eight oils. Always those eight oils, that's all. <laughs> and, and the technique is, um, is uh, it's a bit long. It's about one hour, but it's very simple to learn. Anyone can learn that technique and it can it can help with all conditions. And I love, love that. And, and it's a great um, way to communicate with your, your, your family, your loved ones, your friends, just a way of 
of uh, showing your love and care to them through your hands and the oils. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So when the when the when the <laughs> when the COVID is passed, we will resume the aroma touch technique class. This is a certified class, certification class. I teach that class uh, twice a year about. So um, you can get the certification from doTERRA after a six hour uh, learning. Okay, it's an all day class. So after we've been you know, pausing this training for 2020 because of the COVID, hopefully in 2021, we can resume and I can teach more people to learn this wonderful and powerful, very, very powerful um, technique, yeah. I've seen so many testimonials about that. So, so I'm eager. I can't wait to teach you that technique. Okay. So, um, but of course, if you want to learn by yourself for now, you can watch my video on the Facebook group and doTERRAaromatouch.com. Um, it also has, uh, you know, pieces of uh, uh, instruction there. Okay, uh, products infused with essential oils, other than using the pure oils, like in these bottles, we have products that are infused with essential oils, meaning they've already mixed the oils with other carrier uh, materials, like, you know, skincare, right, for you. So if you are too busy, you, you don't have time to apply oils every time, just use the basic skincare set, which already has the oils in it. So we have three skincare lines, Virage Kit um, and HD Clear for the troubled skin type and Essential Skin Care for anti-aging. So this is more, more complete, has more stuff in, the, in this um, Essential Skin Care. Virage has four simple uh, skincare routine steps, uh, which is very, very good, uh, very light and, and um, comfortable all natural, all natural, 100% natural. So Deep Blue Rub, as I said, is a, another great product people love. And spa products are anyone who tried our uh, body wash, like tooth, right, tooth, uh, toothpaste and um, body wash, oh, hair care, hair care, hair wash, and also our body lotion, scrub, butter, and mud, mud mask, you know, the, the facial mask. So all those spa products, they all have the, um, the oil, essential oils in it. And breathe, breathe, I think it mean, meant the breathe vapor stick, vapor stick. It's, it's a great way for kids to use the breathe and <clears throat> because it's kind of diluted. And Correct X is another product that maybe not that many people know, but it's a wonderful, wonderful product for skin injuries. If you cut your skin, if you um, injured your skin in any ways, apply Correct X. I love the smell of that. It has the best oil in it. It's, the smell is wonderful, but it acts like a, you know, those anti-infectious uh, anti um, ointment. It's kind of like that but it heals the skin much quicker, much quicker. And of course it's anti-infectious. Oils are anti-infectious. So, so this one, uh, Correct X, I would recommend you have one, buy one at home. And when the time arises, you need it, uh, apply this, okay, to your injured skin. Okay, and okay, so if you want to learn more, there's an ebook for you to download or the topical use of essential oils. Lastly, I just want to remind you, this month we have the uh, promotion, the product of the month, which is the 